In a world long gone, when colossal creatures roamed the earth, one behemoth stood above the rest. It possessed enormous claws that could tear through trees and crush the bones of its prey. Let's uncover the unbelievable truth about Megatherium, the giant clawed monster that defied all expectations. Megatherium, a fascinating creature from the past, holds a significant place in the field of paleontology. Defined as a genus of extinct ground sloths, this monster has captivated scientists and enthusiasts alike with its immense size and unique adaptations. Its importance lies in the insights it provides into prehistoric ecosystems and evolutionary history. The taxonomy and classification provide a systematic framework for understanding its evolutionary relationships and place within the animal kingdom. As a starting point, it belongs to the kingdom Animalia, the phylum Chordata, and the class Mammalia. Furthermore, it falls under the order Pelosa, which encompasses sloths and anteaters. Within the Pelosa order, Megatherium is classified under the family Megatheridae and the genus Megatherium. It is important to note that they encompass several species, each denoted by distinct variations within the genus. The taxonomy and classification of them enable researchers to establish connections between different species and trace the evolutionary history of these extraordinary creatures. Its sheer size is awe-inspiring. On average, they reached lengths of about 6 meters and could weigh up to 4 tons, making it one of the largest ground sloths to have ever existed. Its skeletal structure reveals notable adaptations for supporting such immense weight. They had robust and sturdy body, with a barrel-shaped chest and powerful limbs. Speaking of limbs, Megatherium's forelimbs were particularly remarkable. Its arms were disproportionately long, allowing it to reach vegetation high above the ground. These adaptations indicate a predominantly arboreal lifestyle. Even though it was a ground-dwelling species, its hind limbs were also strong and muscular, suited for both walking and supporting its massive body weight. They thrived in various environments, including grasslands, savannas, and forested regions. It generally preferred areas with abundant vegetation, as its diet consisted primarily of plants. Regarding its distribution, megatherium fossils have been found in several regions of the Americas. The genus had a wide geographic range, with fossils discovered in North America, Central America, and South America. Specifically, remains of it have been uncovered in countries such as Argentina, Brazil, Bolivia, Uruguay, Venezuela, and the United States. Its large size and robust skeletal structure were indicative of its need to consume substantial amounts of plant matter to sustain its energy requirements. It is primarily fed on vegetation, including leaves, stems, and possibly fruits. Its elongated snout and specialized dentition allowed it to bite off and chew plant material effectively. The sharp incisors were used for cropping vegetation, while the strong molars helped grind and process tough plant fibers. One of the intriguing aspects of Megatherium's feeding behavior was its ability to reach high vegetation, despite being a ground-dwelling animal. This was made possible by its long forelimbs, which allowed it to stretch upward and pull branches within reach. They likely use their powerful claws to grip and manipulate vegetation, bringing them closer to their mouth for consumption. Furthermore, their adaptations suggest that they were a selective feeder. It likely preferred specific types of plants based on their nutrient content and availability. By examining fossilized fecal matter, known as coprolites, scientists have gained insights into the plant species consumed by them, providing valuable information about the vegetation composition in their habitat. In terms of social structure, Megatherium is believed to have been a solitary animal. Fossil evidence suggests that individuals generally lived and foraged alone, rather than in groups or herds. They were primarily active during the day, making it diurnal. It likely spent a significant portion of its waking hours searching for food and feeding on vegetation. Its large body size and herbivorous diet required extensive foraging to meet its energy needs. The extinction of Megatherium and other ground sloths is an intriguing topic. While the exact cause of their extinction is not fully understood, various factors have been proposed, including climate change, habitat loss, competition with other herbivores, and the arrival of human populations. The disappearance of Megatherium and its relatives had a significant impact on the ecosystems they once inhabited, altering the dynamics of plant-herbivore interactions. In the vast annals of prehistoric predators, 
There exists a creature that haunts the shadows of time, lurking in the forgotten depths of ancient history. It is a predator so formidable, so savage, that its very name sends shivers down the spines of paleontologists and adventurers alike. Prepare to be enthralled by a tale of teeth, claws, and unyielding dominance as we delve into the world of Tarbosaurus, the most ferocious predator you've never heard of. To begin with, it is essential to provide a clear definition and delve into its background. Tarbosaurus, derived from the Greek words tarbos meaning terror and soros meaning lizard, belongs to the theropod group of dinosaurs. This carnivorous dinosaur shares similarities with the well-known Tyrannosaurus rex, exhibiting features that captivate researchers and enthusiasts alike. The discovery and subsequent classification of this dinosaur have shed light on the ancient world and enriched our understanding of prehistoric life. Similar to its famous relative, the Tyrannosaurus rex, Tarbosaurus was a large dinosaur. Fossil evidence suggests that it could reach lengths of up to 40 feet and stand at a height of approximately 15 feet at the hip. In terms of weight, estimates indicate that it could weigh anywhere between 4 to 6 tons, making it a formidable predator of its time. Examining its skeletal structure and anatomy, this dinosaur possessed a robust body supported by strong limbs. Its hind legs were particularly powerful, enabling swift movements and facilitating its predatory lifestyle. The skull featured a large, gaping jaw equipped with sharp, serrated teeth, which were well-suited for tearing and crushing its prey. These teeth, along with its strong bite force, exemplify its adaptation as a carnivorous predator. Moreover, it exhibited unique features and adaptations that set it apart within the dinosaur kingdom. Its skull, for instance, displayed distinct crests and bony ornamentation, believed to be used for display purposes or species recognition. Additionally, its powerful neck muscles and well-developed sense organs, such as vision and olfaction, likely contributed to its hunting prowess. It inhabited a specific geographic range during the late Cretaceous period. This range primarily encompassed what is now known as modern-day Asia, with fossil discoveries primarily concentrated in present-day Mongolia and China. It's inhabited diverse polo environments within this range, including both terrestrial and semi-aquatic ecosystems. These regions consisted of lush forests, open plains, river systems, and wetlands. It is believed that Tarbosaurus thrived in environments where it could find ample prey, such as herbivorous dinosaurs like hadrosaurs and ceratopsians. The presence of these dinosaurs within these habitats suggests that it was well adapted to a variety of ecological niches. Its ability to navigate different landscapes demonstrates its versatility as a predator, capable of pursuing prey across diverse terrains. Studying the habitat and distribution of Tarbosaurus provides valuable insights into the ancient ecosystems it inhabited and the interplay between predators and their environments during the late Cretaceous period. It is believed that it exhibited a social structure similar to that of other large theropod dinosaurs. Fossil evidence suggests the presence of multiple individuals in close proximity, indicating potential pack or family-like groups. These social structures could have provided benefits, such as cooperative hunting or defense against larger predators. In terms of hunting strategies, Tarmosaurus is thought to have been an apex predator, employing various techniques to capture its prey. Its robust build, powerful limbs, and strong bite force suggest an ambush-style hunting approach, where it could swiftly overpower and incapacitate its victims. Furthermore, its keen senses, including excellent vision and olfaction, likely aided in tracking and locating potential prey. Reproduction and nesting habits of Tarbosaurus remain speculative due to limited fossil evidence. However, drawing insights from related species like Tyrannosaurus rex, it is plausible that Tarbosaurus engaged in nesting behaviors. They likely constructed nests for their eggs and guarded them, ensuring the survival of their offspring. Interactions with other species were an integral part of Tarbosaurus' lifestyle. Sharing its ecosystem with a diverse array of dinosaurs, they potentially competed with other large predators for resources and territory. Encounters with herbivorous dinosaurs may have resulted in intense prey-predator interactions and influenced the overall dynamics of the ecosystem. Unleashing its powerful jaws and razor-sharp teeth, a prehistoric predator emerges from the depths of time. Meet Gorgosaurus, 
the formidable carnivorous dinosaur that ruled the late Cretaceous period. With its ferocious nature and commanding presence, this bone-crushing animal captivates our imagination as we delve into its ancient world of ancient power and primal allure. Gorgosaurus, a fascinating dinosaur belonging to the Tyrannosaurid family, possesses distinct physical characteristics that set it apart. Firstly, this dinosaur is known for its impressive size and weight, with adult individuals measuring around 8 to 9 meters in length and weighing several tons. Additionally, its skull and teeth are notable features. The skull is large and robust, housing a formidable set of sharp, serrated teeth designed for tearing through flesh. Their teeth, along with its powerful jaw muscles, enabled them to effectively capture and devour their prey. Moving on to its limbs and locomotion, Gorgosaurus had short forelimbs that were armed with sharp claws, likely used for grasping and holding onto prey. However, its hind limbs were relatively long and muscular, allowing for quick and agile movement. This combination of strong forelimbs and agile hind limbs suggests that it was a capable predator, capable of both capturing and pursuing its prey effectively. Finally, this dinosaur possessed other distinctive features, such as its large, forward-facing eyes, which likely provided it with excellent depth perception and binocular vision, enhancing its hunting abilities. Gorgosaurus, a captivating dinosaur, was initially discovered and named during the early 20th century. The first specimens were unearthed in North America, specifically in the western regions of Canada and the United States. The process of identifying and classifying it involved the examination of fossilized remains found in geological formations. These formations, which date back to the late Cretaceous period, provide valuable insights into the distribution and habitat preferences. Notable fossil finds and well-preserved specimens have allowed paleontologists to study the anatomy and characteristics of this dinosaur in greater detail. These fossils have included partial skeletons, skull fragments, teeth, and limb bones, all of which have contributed to our understanding of their physical structure and evolutionary history. Through careful examination of these remains, scientists have been able to reconstruct the appearance and behavior, shedding light on its predatory nature and its role within the ecosystem of prehistoric North America. As a carnivorous dinosaur, it primarily feed on other animals, and its hunting techniques were well-suited for capturing and subduing prey. Gorgosaurus likely employed a combination of stealth, speed, and strength to pursue and ambush its victims. It may have relied on its keen senses, such as its acute vision and sense of smell, to locate potential targets. Once within striking range, it would have utilized its powerful hind limbs to launch quick and precise attacks, overpowering its prey with a combination of force and agility. There is evidence to suggest that Gorgosaurus may have exhibited social behavior, possibly engaging in pack hunting. Fossil discoveries have revealed the presence of multiple individuals in close proximity, suggesting that these dinosaurs may have hunted together, cooperatively taking down larger prey or maximizing their hunting success. This social behavior would have provided advantages in terms of increased hunting efficiency and defense against larger predators. Gorgosaurus preferred habitats that offered suitable conditions for its predatory lifestyle. It likely inhabited areas such as floodplains, forests, and open grasslands, where it had access to a diverse range of potential prey. The availability of water sources within their environment would have been crucial for them, ensuring a steady supply of water for hydration and supporting the survival of their chosen prey species. In terms of diet, Gorgosaurus was a formidable carnivore with a varied menu. Its diet primarily consisted of herbivorous dinosaurs, such as hadrosaurs and ceratopsians, which were abundant during the late Cretaceous period. The powerful jaws and sharp, serrated teeth of Gorgosaurus were well suited for tearing through the flesh and bones of its prey. This dinosaur would have likely employed a grab-and-bite feeding strategy, using its jaws to seize and tear chunks of meat from its victims. In the vast wilderness of prehistoric times, an ordinary creature underwent a jaw-dropping metamorphosis, evolving from a simple pig-like ancestor into a ferocious predator that struck fear into the hearts of its rivals. Get ready to witness the astounding transformation of Divan as we unveil the incredible journey from pig to predator.
Dudon's taxonomy and classification provide valuable insights into its evolutionary relationships and place within the animal kingdom. With its unique characteristics and distinct traits, it is classified in a specific family and genus. Furthermore, understanding the similarities and differences between Dudon and related species aids in establishing a comprehensive understanding of its taxonomic position. In terms of size, this predator is known to have been a large animal, typically reaching impressive dimensions. Its weight and height were substantial, contributing to its formidable presence in its ecosystem. Regarding skeletal structure and anatomy, they possessed a robust framework that supported their massive bodies. It featured a sturdy skeletal system, with powerful limbs and a strong backbone, enabling it to move with agility and stability. Its limbs were well adapted for both walking and running, indicating an active and potentially predatory lifestyle. The dentition of Divan is particularly remarkable. It had a set of sharp, large teeth, including prominent canines, which played a crucial role in its feeding habits. The size and shape of its teeth suggest a carnivorous or omnivorous diet, possibly including a variety of prey such as small mammals, reptiles, and possibly even plant matter. The arrangement and structure of its teeth provide insights into its dietary preferences and hunting strategies. Diodon was known to inhabit certain regions during its existence. Fossil evidence suggests that it may have roamed across specific continents or areas, although the exact extent of its distribution is still being explored and researched. Regarding preferred habitats, it was likely adaptable to a range of environments. It may have inhabited diverse ecosystems, such as forests, grasslands, or even mixed environments. This adaptability suggests that they were capable of thriving in various ecological settings, depending on the availability of resources and favorable conditions for their survival. It is believed to have exhibited a certain degree of herd dynamics. Fossil evidence suggests that they may have lived and moved in groups, which could have provided advantages, such as increased protection against predators or enhanced hunting efficiency. Understanding their social behavior helps us comprehend how they interacted with their conspecifics and potentially cooperated for survival and reproduction. Predator-prey interactions played a significant role in Diodon's behavior as a potentially carnivorous or omnivorous creature. It likely occupied a position higher in the food chain. Its large size and formidable dentition suggests that it may have been an apex predator or a dominant carnivorous species, preying on smaller animals within its ecosystem. Analyzing its adaptations for hunting, such as its sharp teeth, strong limbs, and potentially enhanced senses, aids in understanding its predatory strategies and how it may have interacted with its prey. Its adaptations were crucial for its survival and reproductive success. Its physical characteristics, such as its robust skeletal structure and powerful limbs, suggest adaptations for efficient locomotion and capturing prey. Additionally, its dentition and digestive system likely evolved to facilitate the consumption of specific food sources. The timing of Diodon's extinction is estimated based on the fossil record. By examining the age of the last known fossils and comparing them to other geological events, researchers can approximate when they went extinct. However, precise dating can be challenging, and ongoing research helps refine our understanding of its extinction timeline. Multiple factors may have contributed to the extinction of Diodon. One possible cause is environmental change. Shifts in climate, habitat alteration, or changes in vegetation patterns could have impacted the availability of resources essential for Diodon's survival. Alterations in its preferred habitats may have led to a decline in food sources or limited its ability to find suitable territories. Competition with other species is another potential factor. They faced increased competition for resources, such as prey or territory, from other carnivores or omnivores, and may have struggled to maintain their ecological niche. Competing species pressure might have harmed Divodon's population and ultimately led to its extinction. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey into the world of Archelon, the ancient giant of the seas. Hopefully, we will see you in the next video.